This is news on cuff. You're going to see your brother in a neighborhood next to a school, a black van looking suspicious. And this brother didn't just look at the van. He paid attention. He was cautious of his surroundings and he investigated. And as he looked more into this van, he notices the inside of this van was very creepy. It was a kidnapping van. But there's some things that I want you all to understand and learn from this after you watch this. Are you in a whole black van, bro? Whoa. Like real shit. Like, you know people out here getting kidnapped and everything, bro. Nah, ain't no use to Look at so, me, look like, so a black bro. van. No, it was like, hell no. no. And you really don't got, bro. Bro, what the fuck is this, bro? Huh? Who are you, bro? Who are you, bro? Where you come from, bro? Now, this is what I want y'all to know, understand, take note, and start doing from here on out. A lot of our children are being kidnapped. They're coming up missing. And by the time that happens, police gets to the scene, and they're just an investigation to document what happened. And our children are being lost and disappearing. And you know why? Because of these black vans, white vans. And guess what? The person inside that van, he had a foreign accent. Our children are being kidnapped and killed and body parts are coming up missing. And I don't know if this brother did what I'm going to tell you what should be done. First of all, Every neighborhood needs CPWIA, Citizens and Police Immediate Interactive Assistance. If this brother was to call the police, if he did, I don't know if he did, he probably didn't, and I can understand why. Leave it up to CPWIA to assess situations like this, document everything properly, and I guarantee you that same van was seen in other locations where children have been kidnapped. And this got to end. We as adults must pay attention and be aware of everything, the constructive and correct way in our neighborhoods to protect our children. It's too much of this happening of our children ending up missing. And the police, when they get there, we have to be proactive. We have to take the initiative and we have to take the necessary and correct actions with CPWIA to prevent this. A new era of thinking, taking action, documenting, investigating with CPWIA, communicating the issues, the crimes, proactively, reactively in community, in communities, and making sure it gets documented correctly to the police. And when something happens again, and we see vans like this, of white, black, or any kind of van like this happens again, we know what to do and how to make sure that we protect our children. And it begins with us. We can't wait on the police because if we wait on the police in this situation, this is not a high priority call depending on how he would communicate the brother, this situation to the police to get the police to the scene. But with us, CPWIA, we know how to communicate, how to document, how to investigate, how to protect proactively and reactively our communities, your homes, your children, the right way. And I thank God that this young brother was paid enough attention to know what was going on, but to know how to document, investigate, and record everything needed against this suspect in that van, the van itself, the information needed, handle it with us, with CPWIA across this country that's going to change the face of po communications with police, documenting and investigating things, and securing and protecting solutions necessary against crimes, against criminals, criminals against suspects, that's what CPWIA.